Hi everyone, I'm Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a patron. Now this video, I've done videos on this process before, but what I'm doing is when there's a new radio, I'm doing a full instructional videos for that radio for the newbies, so they can, for the new people, so that they can see um, what they need to do for their radio. Uh, they may, they're more likely to look at a video when they see it's for their radio, then they'll go back and um, look at an, another radio to see if that works for theirs. But of course with OpenTX it does. But let's uh, have a look at it. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at uh, fine frequency tuning, which is really important for uh, FR Sky receivers or uh, other receivers that use the, that, that protocol. So let's switch over to the radio. Now let's take a look at the T8 and we will do the fine frequency tuning. Now, how you can tell whether you need to do this or not is to go to your model, uh, page right, and then go uh, up, oops, up that way. And then if you can see fine frequency tune in the radio, you need to do it. That's just a clue that you need to do it. So how we do this, now you can keep an eye on the receiver. It is very close to the radio, so this may cause me problems. What I just want to point out that in the video you can see I've got the receiver fairly close to the radio. Now you shouldn't really do it with this this close. The reason I'm doing that is for the video so that I can film it. I haven't got to use two cameras. So when you do this in reality then make sure that your receiver and your radio are apart. Uh, say a meter or a couple of meters. They're not as close as they are in the video. But the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to push enter and then we are going to go let's go plus. Now what we're waiting for is the receiver to disconnect. Okay, you see it started fluctuating already. We've still got RSSI coming through there. But it's like it's, I don't know if it is showing that it's micro valve saving, but we're waiting for it to disconnect altogether and to lose the RSSI. Oh, there we go. Okay, so telemetry lost. Telemetry is lost. Now we're going to go back until we get telemetry recovered. Okay, it's, it is recovered. It's showing us telemetry there, but it's blinking a bit. So we are still connected. So what we need to do now is write that number down. As you telemetry can, lost. We're going in, in and out. So I'm actually going to bring that figure down now. RF signal. Low. Telemetry recovered. So I've brought it down one. Right, let's go for 55, not 56. 55, I've written that down. Now, we need to go the opposite way now. We're going to go to a negative figure, if we can get to a negative figure, that is. Okay, we started, the LED started blinking. Okay, we're still showing RSSI there. Oh, whoops a daisy. Still very erratic. I'm waiting for it to go RF red. RF signal low. Okay, it's lost. And we're going to go back up now. You see, the RSSI is back. So let's just go up 
I would say that's minus 72. So we now need to write that down, minus 72. Now we add those two together and divide by two, and that will give us the figure that we need to put into our radio. Now we have to take in 55 uh, plus minus 72 gives us, and divide by two gives us 8.5. So let me repeat that. It was minus 72 plus 55, and then you take the resultant figure, which is 17, and you divide it by two. So we will then put in eight here, uh, minus eight. So we're going to bring this down, oops, that way. Telemetry lost. To minus, Telemetry recovered. Minus eight. There we go. And we've now done the five frequency tuning. Before I go, I want to give you the reason why we do this, and it's for range. If we don't do this, we could get fail safes on our receiver, between our receiver and our transmitter just after a few meters, maybe 20, 30, 40 meters. So you need to make sure you do this if your receiver requires it uh, by looking at the menu in the model setup. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.